Hi guys, so today I'm going to help you install the packages required to get started with machine learning. So we're going to install CUDA, CUDNN, SciPy, NumPy, TensorFlow, Keras, and Pandas. So let's get started. Uh, the user interface might look a little different to you guys. Don't get confused by that. This is Ubuntu, only highly customized. I've installed GNOME on it and it looks just a little bit different from your PC. So uh, first, let's install the dependencies that we would require. Uh, first, we need to update the apt get. Now to install all the dependencies, I'll copy all these commands and paste them into the terminal. There. All the dependencies are now installed. Now let's install CUDA. To install CUDA first, we'll have to check if we have a NVIDIA graphic card or not. To do this, we will copy this command over. Okay, so it says here that my computer has NVIDIA GT650M. So we can go ahead with our CUDA installation. Now go to this link and download the dev file for your system. You can install CUDA using the run file as well, but I had the best results using the dev file. Linux x86 Ubuntu 16.04 dev file download. Now we need to install the repository metadata. To do that, we'll copy this command and go into the terminal. But first we need to go into the directory where the dev file is, which in my case is downloads, then paste in the command. Now that that's done, now we need to update our cache, repository cache. Next, install CUDA. Okay, so CUDA is now installed on your system. Now open up bash RC. And Place the file given in the Jupyter Notebook inside the Bash RC file. We need to do this so that TensorFlow and other machine learning libraries are able to locate CUDA. Save and exit. Now we need to run the following command so that the changes are applied. Now we need to reboot our computer to apply all the changes that we have done till now. Now that we have restarted our computer, we will now check if the driver and CUDA has been installed properly. To do that, we will copy this command over to the terminal. So over here it says NVIDIA version 375.26 has been installed. Now let's check if CUDA is installed. So here it says CUDA compilation tools release 8.0. So there you have it. CUDA is now installed. Honestly, the hardest part is to get CUDA working. Everything else is really easy. So now let's 
go over to the installation of CUDNN. To install CUDNN, you need to register for an NVIDIA developer account and then head over to this link and download CUDNN. Agree to the terms of conditions. Download CUDNN version 5.1 for CUDA 8. Library for Linux. Now that the CUDNN file has been downloaded, we'll go into the downloads folder. Then we will unpack the file, the CUDNN file using this command. Now we'll copy over the CUDNN files to the CUDA folder. So as you can see here, uh, it is not able to create, uh, copy the file because it needs sudo permissions to do that. For that we'll just add a sudo before the command. Copy the, the command. There. Now CUDNN has been installed properly. Now let's set up a virtual environment. Installing your Python packages in a virtual environment is a practice that I cannot recommend enough. Here we create a virtual environment called Kirai. Copy over the command to the terminal. Now let's activate our virtual environment. So this Kirai over here means that the virtual environment is now active. To act deactivate your virtual environment, just type deactivate and it will be deactivated. Now let's start our virtual environment by typing source Kirai pin activate and let's install TensorFlow now. And let's install TensorFlow. Copy the command over. Now that TensorFlow is installed, let's install Kiras by copying over this command to the terminal. Now we need to install Pandas and H5PY. These are optional, but we will need them in the future. So copy and paste. Same with H5PY. Well, that's it. Everything is installed. Now let's run a sample code to check if everything is working. We'll copy this code over here. Open a new terminal window. Start a virtual environment using this command. Source Kirai bin activate. As you can see, the virtual environment is active. We'll now create a file called test.py paste these commands into it. We'll also copy this line over which will tell us if CUDA is working with TensorFlow or not. Save and quit. Now just run it using Python. There. As you can see it says over here it is using GPU0 and my graphic card's name which is GT650M. So that's about it. This Jupyter notebook has been linked in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel by clicking the button below to get more videos like this.